Hey guys, so I wanted to make a quick video, kind of talk to you guys a little bit. Um, I started doing my makeup and I was like, you know what, let me sit down, let me chat. I'm kind of using my phone right now, I figured that's kind of easiest for the moment. Um, my light actually broke, I do have another one in the shed, I have to go unbury it, but um, I wanted to get back more to my roots of my channel. I was really going through the other day and I was looking at where my channel started and I've been on YouTube for a long time. Um, since I was 18, I'm now 20, over 10 years I've been on YouTube. Um, I put a bunch of my old videos to private, especially because people ask for those products and I just don't sell them anymore. Uh, so I put a lot of things I've been going through and doing so much to the channel. Um, I know some of you noticed because you guys are like, where's some of the older videos? Um, I did put them to private. Um, just as a heads up today, I'm using the Self Glam palette. Uh, but uh, I did want to touch base a little bit, but I wanted to go more back into my roots. I'm just sitting here talking to you guys getting ready just talking about makeup um i don't know i kind of really missed it um i feel like i got away from it for a minute and i was like you know what i'm just gonna go back to what i was doing i liked it i had fun i'd rather have uh just a few people watching and enjoy what i'm doing than have a bunch of people watching so that's what means a lot to me uh but i'm going into orange soda i already started to put this in my crease but but yeah, I wanted to make sure to talk to you guys. Um, I actually bought a few things. They're on their way. I will uh, show you guys when it comes in. I actually repurchased the Anastasia Beverly Hills Monitor Renaissance Palette. Because I used to love that palette, if you guys don't remember. Mine was a mess. Like, I used the crap out of it. So I wanted to take and repurchase it on Anastasia's website. Um... Today's the 26th, I believe. Um, I got it. It's August 26th, so I don't know when you'll see this, but it was on sale for 25 or 27 uh, So I picked it up because I was like, you know what? Meant to be, I want it. I wanted to get back more into the roots. And I know some people are going to be like, oh, this quality sucks or whatever. But you know what? I liked it best when it was really just me and the camera just talking. I'm going in with Tempura. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but... I'm going to put this underneath my eyebrow before I go in with more colors. Um, I also like to do that because then it kind of helps clean up anything left from when I carved out my eyebrows. I have to retouch up my eyebrows. But yeah. I put the finishing touches when I put foundation and I kind of go all around. Make it look all cute. Yeah, I just wanted to touch base, chat a little bit, kind of go back more into the roots. Um, like I said, I know this isn't like the ideal setup, but I really wanted to make some just normal videos. I'm actually going to turn this more this way. But I just really miss doing stuff like this. But um, I miss doing stuff like this, just chatting, making videos, talking. Um, I'm just going to go in with the flat uh, dome eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to be going into Mulberry. And I'm just going to put this on my lid. I'm just going for more of a matte look. Well, for now. I don't know. I always change my mind. But I'm just going to put this on the lid. I'm feeling kind of fall today, even though it's not. But. I don't know. Lately, I've been more into the natural tones. Um, I kind of got back to more of that rather than the really bright tone. So I feel like for a while there I was going with really, really bright makeup. And now I've been kind of getting more back into more natural makeup. I mean, God, this isn't <laughs> natural looking, but, you know, more of the natural colors rather than like neons. But I um, wanted to give you guys some review videos soon. Go over some things that have been my favorite because I know you guys have been asking. I know you guys have been asking for an updated skincare routine. To be honest, nothing's changed. Um, when I find stuff I like for my skin, I don't really like to, I don't know, keep changing it up and moving it about. Um, I don't know. Once I like something and I see that it's like I'm actually getting the results that it's saying, I just kind of tend to stick with it. I don't like to really mess with it. That's just me though. So not really changed, but I'll do a video if you guys want to see. Um, actually in my haul, I did buy more of some of the things I like to use that you guys know I like. But um, 
you know, you just gotta, some things I just like to stick to what's good. I don't like to mix it up or change it because if it's working, why mess with it? I'm gonna go back again into orange soda, shake off any excess, and then kind of just blend here. I'm gonna use another shade too, but I really, really love orange soda for this. Um, it's just so pretty, and then I already kind of got like a transitional shade, but it really just helps blend these together. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I've been feeling... I took a break for a minute. I know I was posting different things. Um, if you guys did see that, I'm not going to post any more of those type of videos. Um, one of my shorts kind of got a little popular. I'm not going to stick talking about this too long. But uh, people really weren't that nice, so... Yeah, no more of those. I'd rather just stick to this. You know? Um, I'm keeping up the ones about, like, trusting your intuition, setting boundaries, and being your own best friend. Because I think those are important. And I think it's important that a lot of people see those and... Um, hopefully it resonates with some, and it already did, so that makes me feel good. I'm going to go in now with Burnt Orange. I mainly put this more in the outer V portion of the eye here. I'm not going to focus so much on the inside right now, because I'm going to probably go in with a little bit of a shimmery shade, just to kind of pop that inner corner so it doesn't look too, too dark. I always feel like that helps. But uh, yeah, I didn't want to touch base on that just a little bit, but not too much. Um, I took off the horror movie reviews. Like, I do like them, but maybe I should just make them a whole separate channel rather than incorporating it all onto here. I wanted to do that to kind of show, like, a broad spectrum of things, but then I think it was starting to confuse people where if some people were just subscribing for the makeup and they're seeing that versus some people might be subscribing for the horror movie stuff and then they're also seeing the makeup. It was making them confused. But uh, it was causing a little confusion. I didn't want confusion to happen. I just wanted to show more of um, interest that I'm in. I'm still going in with burnt, burnt orange. I like to slowly build this up because you can always build it up. But can't take it back. Okay. Um, I'm now I'm just going to go in with just a pinch of sienna. Um, this is just what I'm doing. I did this in uh, one of my my videos before and you guys but what is that look uh, pretty basic pretty basic pretty boring mainly going on the outer via this one as well like i said um to the inside we're gonna put a little pop of a little bit of sparkle just a little bit it just kind of helps lighten it up a little bit Sorry if you can hear the air conditioner come on, but it is so hot. And then I just like to take whatever's left and just kind of help just bring it up just a pinch up on here. Just kind of blend everything out. I didn't add anything to the brush. I'm just blending out. So we don't have that harsh line like we originally did. So it's more of a fade. I'm going to use this little blender brush and just kind of... Line that in. So I'm going to take a pinch of eyeliner. I'm going to use a little bit of eyeliner. It's just the e.l.f. Um, intense ink eyeliner. Uh, somebody recommended it to me in the comments and I actually really like it. And I'm just going to make a normal eyeliner. Nothing special. And then I'll be back. And I'm just going to do a little bit here. With an eyeliner, it's like three dollars, um, but it works great. Right now, my hair looks kind of crazy. It's been like a month since um, I touched it up, but we're just gonna put it up here for now. I'm trying to change up my part a bit because, like, I noticed that like it was starting to set too much in the one area, and I was starting to get a really defined part. Um, where no matter what I was trying to do, it was like just so trained in that way that it kept messing up. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to keep on switching it um, and then see what happens. 
I also trimmed my hair recently, a couple of bangs, you know, um, cut some of the dead ends, cut like this much off because it was like gross. Um, you know, I love having my long hair, but you gotta trim it. I know, I know some of you guys don't like to hear that, but you gotta trim it. But it is weird to see a middle part on me because like, I don't know, I just find it weird. Um, I'm using the Essence Lash Princess. Still my favorite. <laughs> I love it. It's like the best. Like, it's like five dollars. Highly recommend. Okay, so I only did a light layer um, on my top lashes. We'll do more after, but for now, that is plenty. Uh, now to find my primer. Okay, I'm back. Um, I couldn't find my e.l.f. putty primer. I really don't know where it went, but I'm gonna use the um, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Love this one. And I really like to put this on my nose area because that's my that's my trouble zone. Uh, personally, for me, it's a trouble zone. And on my forehead, in between my eyebrows. This, by the way, this is like the third one I bought. I do find buying the mini to me works great. It's the soft matte. Um, for the price, it lasts me forever. Third one, second one, second one. But I like that. I did pick up some goodies. I'll show you guys some of the goodies I recently picked up. Um, I did pick up the two elf blushes because I used to like these, um, and I actually used this one already. But I got one in blushing, and the other one's in bright pink. I picked up one of the new Maybelline cheek heats. I got mine in pink. Scorch, I believe. Yeah, Pink Scorch is the one I got. I actually like this. And then I picked up, don't judge, the Dream Matte Mousse. Um, porcelain Ivory Light One. Wanted to give it a shot. It's been years. So, um, I have been using it uh, a few times now, if you could tell. But, um, it's been a minute and I kind of forgot because it's one of the first foundations um, I ever used when I was like a teen. Um, except they didn't have this color. Oh my god, my face was so orange in high school. So, so orange. Um, I'll make a video talking about high school makeup and makeup I used to buy. And one of the first ever high-end purchases I even remember uh, buying was the Urban Decay Naked Palette. I think I was like 18 and, you know, working, apartment, and I was so excited. I actually had the video on my channel. Um, again, it's one of them I put to private. Uh, but if you guys have been here since the beginning, you guys know I was so excited to get my first, like, high-end purchase. I was like, oh my god. I was so excited. Um, but yeah, we're gonna use some of this. Um, I will say, like, like, the color on this is, like, okay. Like, it seems, like, a little bit dark, but then it ends up matching my neck. Because, like, on my face, it's a little bit more on the cool tone side. But then, like, on my neck area... It's kind of got more of a yellow tone. I don't know. It's weird. But, you know, and then some parts of me have like a pink. I don't know. It's so weird. So I try to normally go for a neutral, but what else? This was the lightest one they had. So. But yeah. OG, putting on with our fingers. It seems like a lot, but I swear it's not. I will say... When I was using this for the first time a few days ago, um, this is like my fourth, fifth time using this. Um, some areas, like on my cheek here, worked really good with the brush. But then some areas, I like, it, it does look better to kind of go over with a sponge. Like, um, personally for me at least, but I have combo skin. Uh, but I notice if I put... Um, a sponge kind of at least just a touch up on my nose worked way better. But I do want to start taking this a little bit more, you know, like I was a few years ago where I was posting a lot. Um, and I want to start doing that again and all of that. Just, you know, as you guys know, like life happens, man. Trying to get away from you. I don't know, man. It's been years. I know I say that a lot, but 
It has been years. I actually think this foundation looks good. Um, I wore it the other day and I had it on for hours. Hours. I was running around doing a bunch of stuff and I was busy all day. And it still looked really good. I was really surprised. The only area it got a little bit icky on is my nose. But um, honestly, uh, most foundations do, to be honest. At least for me, they do. So I was really shocked. I'm just going to touch up my brows just a pinch. I'll do a whole video on this. You guys keep asking me. And I try to write back in the comments. But uh, I want to make sure that you guys know what I use. You know. Some days they're sisters, some days they're friends, and some days they're enemies, but that's besides the point. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. 16-hour uh, camo concealer. It's still like my favorite concealer, and this is only a few dollars, and this is really full coverage and kicks some butt. I get mine in the shade Fair Rose. You get a small and it's great. I always put some on my nose, too. Uh, just going in with a real technique sponge and... Whoop. If there's any type of anything anywhere, just blend it out. And if there's anything left on that sponge, rinse it out. I also bring it up if there's any left. But you see how much like it just really brightens. I was make sure I go around my mouth. Oops. And then make sure I didn't add anything. Just anything I got on here and I bring it down. And it's not like a lot going on there, but I didn't like not put any on. All right, this is pretty naturally matte, to be honest. But same thing. I still love the Fenty Beauty powder. I think it's great. It's the Pro Filter powder, I believe. Um, I'm just gonna go in with this a pinch. And I mean, just a little bit of powder. I don't even use that much. Sorry, this is so long, but. And I mainly do this underneath my eyes. It helps keep anything from creasing. I make sure to pack it in around my nose area here. Because this is where it gets greasy for me. It is right on the side of the nose. It's like the lip lines. Chin. And then... The light dusting put it over and then um i love this powder because i feel like it does kind of have like a natural blurring effect i don't know how but it just like kind of is like almost like a professional in a powder form not as intense but works good i have a few options i can use for a contour bronzer let's see let's see oh by the way we're not done with the eyes but my process here. I have a few, but I'm just not sure. Should we go the Too Faced one? I got a Kat Von D one, or KBD. Oh, I got a Anastasia one. Let me get some Essence. You know what? We're going to go for the Essence, because I think it was asked about in a prior video. Granted, I know I'm slow about this, but um, we have the natural one, where it's huge. Packaging kind of sucks on this, but it does work good. Um, and then this one, which is the Luminous Matte Bronzing. I, I kind of want to go for more of a matte look. So we go with this one. I got mine in uh, the shade 01 Natural. This is meant for lighter skin. They have other shade options, so check that out. Um, and then... Boop, boop, boop. And this is how I like to do it. I know some people like the actual contour brushes. I just like to go for a brush that kind of is shaped like this. And then I kind of go like this at first, like this way, and then I'll go like this to help blend it. And that's what I do. And that is the motion. It always just seems what works good for me. And then I go back and forth. Stiffle brush. And I found one of these. I don't know how old it is, um, but it's okay. Um, they had some at um, one of the Rite Aids that came up, and it's one of the uh, Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blushes, and I used to really like these, and that's just me personally. Um, I got mine in the shade Rose Petal. They didn't have too many there, because I think, like, these are discontinued, 
but like I just wanted to see if I still love these. Personally, I used to love the Maybelline Matte Mousse blushes. When I first started my channel, I had a lot of the Maybelline uh, Mousse collection because like I had a lot of them. And um, personally, I've always been a big fan of like these kind of creamy type feeling products. This is very light, by the way. Like this shade would really only work if you're really pale, like how I am. But they do have more shades where. They're more pigmented, like hot tamale. It's more pigmented. Um, they have like a plum shade that's more pigmented, but this shade, like I would really, honestly, only recommend if you were really, really fair, because if not, I don't feel like you would get the good color payoff that you'd be wanting. You'd be disappointed, and we don't want that. And oh, nope, I still love this. I like to bring it up. I know this is weird, but I like stiffle the brush up and then bring some of the blush with it, just kind of where the contour would be on the sides, because I like the way it does a flushed look. But like, it's just, just pretty. Um, it just makes the skin look so nice. Like, and there's no shimmer in this either. Um, it's just, it just gives it a nice glow. Where I don't know, it, it just makes it look nice. But, um, I was so back and forth between which one of these, but it's been such a long time. I was like, let's try it. What should I do? You know what? It's been a minute. I was going to go in with my, um, Amrizi one, but I feel like I used it a lot on camera. So, we're going to go in with the ColourPop. What's your catch? And it is huge. It's huge. I've used so much, this so much. And it's like I barely touched it. I mean, you kind of can tell, but... It's just so, so much. You just... So pretty. So pretty. I love it. It's just such a natural, like, beautiful glow. And this is freaking huge. I think I got this for, like, $12. And, oh my god. It's humongous. Oh, so pretty. Um, we're gonna keep this out. The highlight. Okay, I just took some of that same highlighter and I just put just a pinch underneath just the brow bone. Um, I'm somebody who I love that. I like the look that it gives. My hair looks so great right now. Um, I really like this. Okay. And then I just got a pinch on here. Bring a little bit to the inner corner. I don't want it to be really, I don't, I didn't add more to this because I don't want the look to be really bright. I just want it to look slightly brightened, but I don't want it to be super highlighted, so I didn't add anything to it. So it just gives it just an ever so slight pretty. But I think it looks pretty. Smudge brush. This one's from Morphe. It's just a smudge brush. We're not going with that same. Do I want that same? Yeah. We're going to go in with Mulberry, and we're going to smudge a little bit of lash line. And yeah, we're going for a nice smuggy look. I'm a big fan of Trust the Brush. So then I'm going to take and go into one of the ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliners. This is in Bruja. I'm going to line my lower lash line and then I'm going to use some lash print stencil in the bottom lashes and I'm just going to give another coat to my top and I'll be back. Alright, that's all done and then I'm going to really go in with an OG. I told you I'd use a lot of old products. This is Velvet Teddy by MAC. Mine's been used and loved. But I figured it's like the perfect shade to go with this look. Now I'm not going to make this a full coverage lippy, I'm just kind of putting a little blush on her lips. <laughs> Don't mind my cat, he likes to talk, but um, I need to do something with my hair because it looks crazy. Um, I'm probably going to put some gel in it or something. Um, this is this kind of at its natural state. This is what it kind of looks like when it dries, but uh, I need to put a little something in it because it looks crazy because I got bedhead. Uh, by the way, it's like 5am, so I like just woke up. But <laughs> Um, I need to get dressed and get ready. But yeah, I wanted to do a fun, kind of like smoky look. Well, I might do something like that. But like, better. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I did want to catch up. I did want to talk to you guys. I really wanted to kind of sit down, kind of go more back to uh, the roots of things. And I'm going to be making a few review videos and I'll share my haul video. 
and uh, revisiting old favorites. I also wanted to talk about some old makeup that I feel like it'd be fun to, uh, where it was like old makeup favorites I had, and I'm sure a lot of other people did, where um, it's what got you into really liking makeup. And that was before like the whole like YouTube thing really became a thing, and uh, I think a lot of people were like that. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. I really appreciate it, and uh, thanks for just sitting here with me while I do my makeup. I think that's fun.